Good morning. morning. Thank you so much for joining us for our Bethel Kids online service. My name is Pastor Jonathan. And I'm Pastor Kehlani. Thanks for being here with us, whether you're a part of Bethel Church or you're not. We have some friends watching from Arkansas, from Australia, from Brazil. Yeah. We just want to say thanks for being here with us this morning. Well, are you guys ready to get this morning started? I'm well, so ready. Let's get started. Let's get started with our countdown video right now. Prepare audience for maximum impact. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining us for our countdown video. We have a brand new game for you, and it is called Shazam. Shazap. Shazap. What is Shazam for? From it wasn't that a movie? Yeah, old. Old movie yeah. with um, what's his name? That big guy, Shaquille anyway. O'Neal. Anyways, um, so well, what this game is? This is an elevated. Jenga. Elevated. That makes it sound like it's better. This is not better, you guys. If you can't tell from the name and from my face, it's called Shazap for a reason because these little things right here, I don't even want to touch them because they're metal, zap you if, when the timer goes off. So we're going to play around of Jenga and we have to use these little tweezers to get the pieces off and put them on top. And we just don't know when it's going to zap. And that's how you play. Ready? I don't want to be zapped. Okay, so I hate being zapped. I'm gonna press this button. This. I don't want to do this. I'm so scared. I don't even want to touch it, you guys. <laughs> Ready? No. Set. Okay, do I go? Go. No, I don't want to do it. How do I do it? Grab it. They're, they're not going. You're... I can't. I don't want to do it. <laughs> This is so... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's going to knock over. I can't grab it. <laughs> <laughs> that is so hard. Okay, so you guys can see these pieces are clear. So I, I'm trying... You have to grab the sides. Are they all that... Okay, I kept trying to go for the middle. But you have to grab it here with uh, these sides. I see what you're trying to grab for. But see, I'm going this way, and I can't, I when they're lined up like this, you can't see which, like, it just looks like a line. So I kept ending up grabbing these pieces and running into it. And it's so, it's so hard to see. This thing is like, and they're all the same color. It's not like they're, you know, different colors. All right. So that let's, was awful. Being, let's play one this more is more worse, count. way worse than pie Did chase. you get zapped? No. I didn't either. Well, because I dropped the things. I was afraid. <laughs> Uh, but it's very, very nerve-wracking not knowing is, if you're going to get zapped or not. Oh, this is way worse than pie face. Like, the anxiety mm. of pie face is bad. And this is even worse because I know it's going to be painful. At least I know pie face isn't painful. Is it painful? You tried it. Yeah, I got zapped. It's a little that. But here we go. That's it? Just here we go? Okay, how do we know who wins? I don't know. See, it's hard. And they're not, like, really good tweet. No, other way. Other way. Sideways. Ah! <laughs> How do you give it to me? See? <laughs> it's not even on! Can't do that. You can make me get zapped again. Go! Zap! This is crazy. You can't just sit there. You gotta go! Oh, wait, wait. What was I gonna You do? have to go. Come on! Now you're really gonna get zapped. I know! Come on! You're making time! Go on! You could have been giving it to me by now. No! Oh, come on! <laughs> that was not fair. Oh my gosh. Okay. What the? Not fair! Oh my gosh, she got it! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, that's not it. There you go, there you go. Come on. Oh my gosh, the music is awful. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Did you guys hear this? That was a good game. This, oh. that, that noise of the that, anticipation the of it going and, 
I'm sweating right now. Oh my gosh, like, my heart is racing, you guys. Like, this is... This, this is, is crazy. Level. This, this is, is a lot of fun. Okay, but wait, how do we decide who wins or who doesn't? I don't know. I collapsed it twice, uh, but so you got zapped more. So I guess yeah, I, can, I, guess I think the person I who lost. Collapsed it. Yeah, that's how you normally play Jenga. Because we usually do two out of three, and I mm -hmm. just collapsed it twice. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed <laughs> watching me get zapped. You get zapped. Pastor Kehlani didn't get zapped once. I am so grateful because, you guys, that was so scary. That was really scary. I got, how many, I got zapped twice. You got zapped or, twice. Yeah. Yeah. It was well, a lot of fun. Well, technically three times because he was getting the game set up and then yeah. he got zapped then. But anyways, uh, thank you for joining us for our countdown video. It is now time oh. for our service to begin. So here we go. Thanks so much for watching our countdown video, you guys. If you um, want to try this game at home, it is called Shazap. Definitely get it for yourself, get it for your family. Yeah, if you're up for the challenge, but please get your parents' permission because this thing. It from, really hurts. From what I've heard, is it, it really hurts. And there's three intensity levels, and we were on the lowest intensity intensity level. So I can't imagine yeah. what it's like, and I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm no. good. I'm right. good on the on the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Anywho, good family game. If you want to pick it up this month, we have a brand new theme, like we talked about last week, which is reconnect. Reconnect. Build the bridge. Now, that might sound like something like, what are we talking about? We're talking yeah. about a bridge. We're talking about reconnecting things. Now we're gonna dig in a little deeper and what reconnecting is all about this month's theme is all about is all about peace proving that you care about each other more than winning an argument now that can be hard to do sometimes absolutely so we need to talk about peace and dig yeah. how how can we have peace yeah. with others yeah so. and uh th this month or i'm sorry this week's bottom line is all about we can make peace with others hey i just said that i didn't even realize that was our bottom line yeah you <laughs> kind of took my thunder I'm but sorry. anyways uh i'll make so peace sorry. with you right now oh there we go see great <laughs> example we're just living it out we're just we we totally practice that but anyways <laughs> uh one thing that we love to go over uh it's our mission and our goal for you and for everyone, even for us, for us too, is yeah. to be the light wherever you go. And we want everyone to be loving. Mm -hmm. We want everyone to be including. We want everyone to be generous, not only with uh, money, but with their time, with their, with your toys and things that you may have. Yeah. Uh, we want you to be hope filled, especially in a time like this, right. when you're going through something. You can have hope in Jesus because you know that always. he's always there for yeah. you. And last but not least, we have team, team players. players. And uh, one thing that we love to do as a team, Pastor Kehlani, what is it? Praise and worship. Now you guys, this is our time. This is the time that we set aside in our service mm -hmm. to give God glory. And if you don't know what that means, it just means we like to tell God how much we love him, how yeah. special he is to us. And we do that in lots of ways. The Bible says, make a joyful noise. Mm -hmm. David danced. Yeah. And so we want to be like King David. We want to be um, good stewards of what God has given us and just honor him and say, hey, we love you. So yeah. we're going to sing. We're going to dance. We're going to have some fun and praise and worship is the time to do it. So join us, stand to your feet, get ready because now is our time to praise and worship the Lord. Washing up. 
Thank you so much for joining us for our praise and worship. Oh, well, yeah. now it is time to move into our tithes and offering. And you can give one of three ways today. First, you can go to our website at Bethel.org slash give. Oh, sorry, I stole your thunder again. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, I'll make peace with you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, next, you can go to our church center app and give through there. And my favorite way is texting to give, which Ooh, is our love third that. way to give. All you need to do is in the address box, type in 84321, and then in the message box, hit the dollar amount sign, how much you wanna give, hit space, BGMC, and then don't forget to hit send, and all that money goes directly to BGMC. Now, B BGMC oh. stands for Boys and Girls Missionary mm -hmm. Challenge. It's all about raising up the next generation. That's all of you at home, all of you watching, um, to give towards missionaries all over the world. There's some people who are um, in different nations right now, yeah. and they're telling people about Jesus who've never heard about him. Yeah. There are also other people who are giving away clothes or bringing Bibles to countries that just don't have or access schools. to them. Or building schools and yeah. buildings, just so people um, can have a normal Normal life and so that's what BGMC is all about that's why we support them um, so please give towards BGMC today and why don't we pray over the offering sure. so join me as we pray Lord we thank you so much God we thank you for the opportunity to give to such yes, an Lord. amazing ministry we ask that everything that's given today God would go far it would in impact neighborhoods and nations yes, God. God and right here in our city Lord right here in Santa Clara California in San Jose California we ask that you would use the money that's given today um, to impact our our, our neighborhood and impact many, many nations. Yes, God, let sir. this money build schools and houses. Let it impact families, provide groceries, mm. whatever needs are out there. God, we ask that this money would provide whatever it is for those yes, families. Lord. Meet needs with this, with this money. We thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you guys so much for that tithes and offering. We, we really appreciate it. Well, now it is time for our totally... <gasps> Utterly, utterly useless, useless and meaningless, meaningless video, video of, of the, the week. week. Here we go. This time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. We hope you enjoyed that totally, utterly useless, meaningless yeah. video of the week. Well, now it's time for the verse of the week. Ooh. And we need to grab our Bibles. So we're going to give you about 30 seconds to go grab them. Are you ready? Get set. Go. All right, you guys, it's verse of the week time. Let's do this. All right, you guys ready to dig in? So every week, if you didn't know, we practice and to memorize a verse of the week. So now that we all have our Bibles, hopefully you at home got your Bible, you can use your, your computer, your mm -hmm. tablet, your phone, however you use your Bible or read the Bible, go ahead and grab hold of one. Um, and we're gonna dig right into this week's verse of the week. So yeah, we study a weekly verse. We try to memorize it and keep it in our hearts. And mm -hmm. it always gets us through different times in our life. We exactly. get to hold on to the word, keep it close in our heart. So join us. Here we go. This week's verse can be found in Colossians 3.15. All right. So open up those Bibles. Um, if you don't know, the Bible itself is lots of little books in one big book. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're not familiar with the where the book of Colossians is, you can go to your contents in the front, table contents. If you're on a web browser, just search that right up. So go ahead and find Colossians 3.15. Um, for those of you using this Bible, it's on page 1175. So we're going to start it's all the way there. actually 1178. Oh, you already found it. I already found so it. So it's in the New Testament, which is towards the end of the book. I hit Hebrew, so I'm too far. Okay. Pardon me. Please hold. There we go. Colossians 3.15. So chapter 3, verse 15. Now, this is what I said. We're going to be reading out of the N, uh, NLT version. NLT. Correct. NLT version. So read this along with us on the count of three. One, 
two, three. Let, Let the peace that Christ gives rule in your heart. As parts of one body, you were appointed to live in peace and be thankful. Colossians 3.15. Now, if you're using this Bible, this is the NIRV version. No, this oh, is the NLT version. Oh, then we're reading from the NIRV version. Oh, okay. I got that backwards. There's two versions of the Bible. So mm -hmm. sorry. So sorry. I just confused everyone, didn't I? Yeah. I'm so sorry. NLT, what we're reading today is NIRV. Yeah. If you have this Bible, then this is NLT. It's a little bit different in your Bible. We are reading from NIRV. Yes. Okay. All right. You guys ready to read again? Let's try it. Let's read it one more time because okay. I just confused everyone. <laughs> let's read it out loud and together, and then we'll start to take away some words. It's going to help us memorize let's do it. This. Okay? Let's do this out loud and together on the count of three. One, two, three. Let, Let the, the peace that Christ, Christ gives rule in your heart. As parts, parts of one, one body, you were appointed to live in peace and be thankful. Colossians 3:15. Great job, everybody. Now let's go ahead and take away some of those words and fill it in the blanks. Pastor Jonathan, you fill in the blanks for us. Okay. And when you guys see a blank, you fill it in with the word that was missing. It's okay. gonna help you memorize it. Are you ready? Let's do this. Here we go. One, two, three. Let the peace that Christ gives rule in your heart. Now all together. As, as parts, parts of, of one, one body, body, you were, were appointed to live in peace. peace and be thankful. Colossians 3.15. Great job, you guys. Great job. Let's take away even more words. Remember, if you're not sure what word goes in the blank, just read it straight from your Bible. That's okay, too. Here we go. One, two, three. Let the peace that Christ gives rule in your heart as parts of one body you were appointed to Live, live in, in peace, peace and, and be thankful. thankful. Colossians 3.15. Great job, you guys. I think there's just one more left. One so set. let's take away the last set of words. One, two, three. Boom. Boom. They are gone. And let's go ahead and fill in those blanks. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Let the peace that Christ gives you rule. Oh, I said the wrong yeah, word. Yeah, you did. I am so sorry. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay, ready? I will make peace with you. Thank you. Oh my again. gosh, Pastor Jonathan is making a lot of peace with me today, you guys. I need it. All right, one, <laughs> two, three. Let the peace that Christ gives rule in your heart as parts of one body you were appointed to live in peace and be Thankful. Where's it found? Colossians 3.15. That's right, Colossians 3.15. All right, you guys, here's the deal. That was a very confusing verse of the week. I apologize for that. Please make peace with me. Lots of peace. I need all the peace today. Can we be can we be friends still? Can we can we do that? Is that okay? We're still friends. All right. Well, if that confused you at all, go to Colossians 3:15. Look it up in, in your Bible. Study it because you can get Bethel Kids books. Remember, yes. we're meeting in person um, in on our San Jose and Santa Clara campuses. So every second and fourth Sunday on our Santa Clara our San Jose campus, and every single week on our Santa Clara campus. Mm -hmm. So you can register online at Bethel.org/kids. But we want to see you there. Come drive by. If you want to stay in our, the parking lot or you're just watching from home, send us a video of you reciting your verse and we'll set aside some Bethel Kids books for you that yep. you can spend in our store. Which is now open on Woo! the first and third Sunday. So every right here other on Sunday San Jose, is yep. a store outside service. Store right here on San Jose service. campus and on Santa Clara, it's every single week. week. So you have every single week service and store on Santa Clara campus and every other here. So starting with store first and third Sunday and then in-person service on second and fourth Sundays. Yep. We will see you there. Okay, so if you were confused about this uh, memory was. verse like so I sorry. was, <laughs> I think it's time for a brain break. So let's get started oh. with our game. Are you ready, Pastor Kehlani? Let's Does get it, all this wait, set wait, up. Wait, 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 wait. It's not gonna be the shocking game again, is it? No. <gasps> Thank you, we Jesus. We get new pie face. Well, you guys know what time it is. Game it, time. And you guys know I'm not a very big fan of pie face. We could do better than that. Better than what? It oh. is game time. All right, all right. I'm ready? ready to have fun. I'm Come ready. All right. Let's do this. One, Woo. two, three. It's game time. Like I said before, we're doing pie face. 
Yay. Yay. You, you know, the only reason why we do this is because you guys keep telling us you love it. Yeah. Can you stop telling us you love it? So then we can stop doing it. I still love it because she always gets pie -based. I always do. And you guys, that's why I thought, I thought we were friends. And you guys keep saying we need to do this because I was Anyways, crazy. let's get started. So today's game, we haven't played this game in a while. A long time. And it's called Versus Versus Versus. 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 Well, if that doesn't confuse you, it's Bible Versus uh -huh. versus. versus other Bible verses. Yep. We are going to have a two Bible verses listed. Yep. And then we're gonna read the actual verse. And we have to decide, is it found in the first reference or the second? So it's two Bible verse references against each wow. other. Now, if that confuses you, don't worry. We're gonna play it and you Here guys can watch along, but play along with us at home. Yes. Now, here's the deal. If we lose, we are missing a dice. We are. If we lose on the verses, versus verses, we have to roll a dice and then spin spin this guy right here to, he disappeared um we have to roll the die and then we have to click on this thing say it lands on six we have to click this six times and who knows it might possibly pie us in the face we just don't know we don't know so we're gonna find out we're gonna play the game versus 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 you guys play along with us at home and we'll see we'll see how we go how we do downstairs. let's see <laughs> guys help Help. All right, here let's we go. play this. First versus, one. versus, versus. First question is So, is this found in Psalm 119, 105, or Matthew 525? It says this Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. Is mm. that Psalm 119, 105, or Matthew 5, verse 25? I think I know my answer. I think I know mine. All right. Ready? Ready, on the count of three. One, One two, two, three. three. Matthew, Matthew 5, 25. 25. Oh yeah, you just said the ma book. Yeah, just Matthew. Okay. Yeah. Matthew, okay. yes. No, I think it's All right, let's, let's, let's see. see. Do we know our Bible? Answer oh. is... I think that's the wrong one. Well, I that... think we read it wrong. Yeah, They no, gave us I the mean, right, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, we both have to roll the day. <laughs> Guys, we said it was Matthew. It's not Matthew. It's not Matthew. The book of Psalm. I hope you guys got that right. Do you guys right. know? Because uh, I hope you aren't playing Pie Face. Actually, I hope you guys are I hope playing, you are playing Pie, pie Face. face. And I hope you said Matthew too. So now you guys get to do it too. Okay. Right, I'll go first. Okay. Two. Thank you, Jesus. I hope it goes off on the one. I hope not, you guys. It usually does. You guys know my luck. All right. Two. Here we go. Excuse me, sir. All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't like playing this game, oh. you guys. This is exactly why. It went off on one. Because it always goes off on me. And she wanted to go first. <laughs> That's great. It might go off again. We just don't know. I highly doubt that. That is wonderful. All right, I'm going to roll the dice. And I got a two. I'll take the two. You got a two as well? Yes. Let me Am I like, up. I feel like it's all Lit over. And uh -huh. up here. Ugh. Did I get it? Uh, yes, you did. Sorry. I'm... This is why I don't like playing, you guys. I, can't, I feel like I could hear you laughing from home. This is why I like playing. Okay. All right. Two. He got it too as well. Put some upgrade on there for me. Here we go. All right. Three, two, one. Ooh. Three, two, one. I knew it was not going to go off. Why would it go off on you? I think there's whipped cream on there. Still oh. whipped cream on my head. <laughs> oh, darn. Mm -hmm. All right. The next one. Okay. All right. Let's wake up a little here, okay? Here we go. Come on. Let's get next some verses. One. Here we go. First Kings 2.11 or Hebrews 4.12? Says. Which one says this? For the word of God is alive and powerful. It's sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, mm -hmm. cutting between soul and spirit and between joint and marrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. Sorry, I know God, this. this is hard to read. I know this one. You do? I do. Okay. Um, do you know it? I think so. All right. Do you at home know I it? I time. hope you guys, yeah, well, we, I thought we were picking the wrong answer last time, not the right one. Now I know. Sure. Now I know. Okay. Ready? One, two, two. three. First Hebrews. Kings. Oh. 
Well, I mean, <coughs> not no changing. That was our final answer, was it? It was our final, was our answer. final answer. Let's see at home what you guys got. All right. Let's see what our final answer is. Hebrews 4, 12. Pastor Jonathan, come on down. Number one. Number one. Number, Number six. Number two, two again. I'll take it. All right. It's not going to go off. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. No. Oh, I really thought it was He's always spared, guys. Always. Now, if I'm going to get the next one wrong, it's going to go on the first one again. <laughs> Why are you putting this in front of me? Because right. you're going to get it next. All right. All right here, here we, we go. go. Next verse. So you guys ready? Let's do this. All right. Is this Ephesians 6, 17 or Judges 7, 17? Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. I know this one. I do too. Are you guys ready? One. Two. Three. Ephesians. Ephesians. Definitely. Yep, totally. It's all Full about armor of God. Armor of, of God. God. The, the armor, armor of... on. Put your armor. Nope. It's from uh, Minnow. If you guys have yes. never seen Micah's Micah's vlog, it's an animated series. Go check it out. He does a whole series on the armor of God. You can Very find funny. it on YouTube as well. Yeah. Minnow, formerly known as. What was it known as before? Jelly Telly. Oh, Jelly Telly. Jelly Telly. Really good. Really awesome. Micah's blog. Go check it out. All right. My okay. answer. Ephesians 6, 17. You? Yes. All right. Ready, Final answer set. is. Ephesians 6, 17. High five. Boom. Spared. Okay. I hope you guys are spared at home too. Last question. Last one already. Last one already. Wow, All right. Here we this. go. Okay, Revelation Ooh. 6 2 or Psalms 12 6. Let's the see. Lord's promises are pure like silver, refined in a furnace, purified seven times over. I think I know this. I think I do too. All right, are you ready? Count of three. Are you guys at home ready? Kay. One, two, three. Revelation. Revelation. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to high five oh. you because you could be wrong. I could be taking him down <laughs> with me. <laughs> All right, let's see what it is. Our final, final answer, answer in three, two, one. I'm 12 and 6. I thought we were scot free. I thought I wasn't going to get Guys, pied in the face. What are we doing here? What's happening? <sighs> okay. This is to make up for all those other times. Because, like, a few weeks ago, we were like clean. We did not get pie faced. Or oh, whatever's. Yeah. I like that. Five! Five! Yes! It's going on. Here, I'll go second. No, nah, it's cool. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, ladies first. Four. But you go first. Oh, oh wait. This is kind of getting slouchy. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's, just, just... Cl let's just clean it off. Why? It'll just make more of a mess this way. Exactly. What I if it was want, me? Oh, well, I would have cleaned it off for you too. Can Left you shake it a little bit? Oh. Nice and fresh for you. All right. Here we go. Five. Number five. Three, two, one. It's going to go. Oh, three, two, one. Yes. Oh, I saw right it. It was jiggling. Yep. <laughs> A schnauz berries tastes like schnauz What is that? Lily Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? Lily Wonka. That's right. Yes. All right. Now I do what... You <laughs> broke it. It's not going back down. Oh, no. There we go. There we go. What did I get for? All right, you, you guys. Four. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, two one. one. Three, two, two. one. Three, <laughs> two, one. Three, oh two, one. Okay, Scott free. Scott free. Well, well not really, because I got pie faced earlier. We each got pie faces. We this, did. This game. This was a good game. I hope you guys had fun at home. I hope you're playing along with us. Hope Don't forget, you did better than us. Buy as well. pie face for your family and at home, because this is so much fun. All right, we you guys. Actually, sell this in our Bethel Kids store, so Ooh. you can come pick it up there. Save up your Bethel Kids bucks. You could take one home and pie face your parents. Yeah. Parents, if you're watching, pie face your kids. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> pie face everyone. All right, you guys. Best time of the day is our Bible story time, and it's happening right, right now. now. Check it out. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 15. In a letter written to the Colossian church, the Apostle Paul wrote, Let the peace that Christ gives rule in your hearts. As parts of one body, you were appointed to live in peace and be thankful. Now let's see what that truth may look like played out in our lives today. 
Katie wiped the sweat from her forehead and took a long drink from her water bottle. How is it this hot in April? She looked back at the long patch of scrubby ground on the corner lot by Miss Watson's house. Her friends, Caleb and Nona, were both pulling weeds too. I thought we'd be done before lunch. It'll take us days to clear out all this brush. All three kids lived in the same neighborhood and were in Mr. Benson's seventh grade social studies class. It had been Katie's bright idea to start a neighborhood garden for their community service project. Well, we have to finish, unless you want to fail social studies. Even though the friends had been working for a couple of hours already, they'd only cleared the brambles from a small patch of land at the corner. Even when we finish pulling weeds, we still have to dig up the dirt. Yeah, and plant the seeds and water them and stuff. Look, we just need to get it done. I really want an A, okay? Let's use what we've cleared so far and pick one thing to plant. Sunflowers! What? They're big. They're bold. They'll brighten up the whole neighborhood. I don't want to plant flowers. Katie did a quick search on her phone for backup. Plus, you aren't supposed to plant sunflowers until summer. That's a big, fat fail for class. Well, it feels like summer. We should plant a pumpkin patch. I mean, how awesome will it be to have all the little kids come right here to get their pumpkins in the fall? That's like half a year away. You guys. Plus two words, pumpkin pie. Uh, two more words is disgusting. Katie jumped right between her sparring friends. You guys, we need something easy that will actually grow now before the end of the school year. I looked it up. She held up her phone and showed them a picture of small flowers with viney green stalks. What are those even? You have got to be kidding me. Katie checked her screen again. Petunias, we can plant them right here by the stop sign. They grow super fast, we'll get a good pick for class, and then we're done. I thought the whole point of this was to help people. Petunias are nice. This is ridiculous. Something that small will just get overrun by all the weeds we haven't pulled. You got a better idea? Yeah, sunflowers. You know, something big and beautiful. Or bumpkins! Katie ripped off her gardening gloves and hurled them into the dirt. Fine, do your own community service project. You're quitting the garden? It's not a garden, it's a weedy dirt patch. I'll do my own project. Katie grabbed her water bottle and her tools and stalked off. I cannot believe them. At home, Katie kicked off her muddy shoes and hurled her dirty gloves on the floor. How'd it go, sweetie? Awful. We hardly cleared any weeds, and Nona and Caleb wouldn't listen to my idea about what to plant. It is a pretty big project. I'm doing my own. Isn't it a group thing? Nona and Caleb don't even care about the grade. They want to do all this stuff with pumpkins and sunflowers and stuff we'll never even finish. I get it. It's a lot easier to keep it small, but it's up to you whether you want to hold on to being angry or go make this right with your friends. They started it. Look, God designed you to be at peace on the inside, peace with him and with others. Okay, okay, yeah, I just, I don't know where to start. You could start with more help. I bet Miss Watson would be willing to lend a hand since that weedy patch is right by her yard. Maybe. Oh, and Mrs. Garcia is always trying to start a garden in their backyard, but she says it's too shady. Maybe she'd like to help. Katie nodded slowly. After lunch, she took a trip around the neighborhood and spotted Caleb shooting some hoops in his driveway. Then she dragged him across the street to knock on Nona's door. You realize I don't want to talk about this? I don't want to talk about this. Just give me a minute, both of you, please. Caleb and Nona stared at Katie, arms crossed. I'm really sorry. I got so stuck on making an A that I didn't listen to your ideas. I was just so hot and frustrated. Katie's friends waited. I talked to Mrs. Watson and the Garcias and that family with the little kids by the stop sign. They all want a garden, like a big vegetable garden. They want to help us. Really? We could clear the lot pretty fast with that much help. And we can plant everything, tomatoes and beans and carrots and sunflowers and pumpkins and whatever people want to eat. We'll have to help keep it up over the summer though. All the way to pumpkin season. Exactly. Okay, I'm in. Caleb gave Katie a high five. Then they both turned to Nona. She hesitated. Okay, sure. But you're not gonna get me to eat pumpkin pie because sweet potato is way better. Deal. The Garcias can help out tomorrow afternoon, so we can get back to it then. 
Katie headed home, relieved that she was on good terms with her friends again and at peace on the inside. She was living out the truth of Paul's words. Let the peace that Christ gives rule in your hearts. As parts of one body, you were appointed to live in peace and be thankful. The peace that Jesus gives us makes us want to have peace with others. Mm. Remember, God made us to be one body. That means one team, just like our light. We're team players, you guys. We're all on the same team. And with his help, we can really act like teammates mm. every single day. We can make the first move to say we're sorry. We can make the first move to make peace. Mm. We, we can think about what's better for others instead of just what's the best for us. So true. We really want to treat That's others great. the way we want to be treated. That's what being a team is about. Mm -hmm. And because of Jesus, it's our bottom line. We can make peace with others. Mm -hmm. Because of Jesus, we can make peace with others. Say it with me on the count of three. One, two, three. Because, because of, of Jesus, Jesus we, we can, can make, make peace, peace with, with others. others. So just like Pastor Jonathan made a lot of peace with me today because I was a mess. Um, let's make peace today too. Go make peace with your family, with your friends. I want to encourage you to take this home and make peace today. Let's let's pray that God would help us do that. Sure. Lord God, we thank you for sending your son, God, so that we can have peace with you. Yes, Lord. Jesus, we thank you that each of us are so important, God, that we play our own role. But God, we can't win any games, God, unless... Lord, we make peace with each other. And yes. so Jesus, we pray, God, that if anyone offends us, Lord, we'd be quick to make peace with them the way you did with us. Yes. So Jesus, we pray that Thank as you. this week goes on, Lord, that we would always be reminded to make peace immediately. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Again, yes. shout out to all of our friends who are not a part of Bethel Church, but are watching with us online, yeah. maybe from another country or another state. Or we are so glad you joined with us. Oh yeah, or other churches right here yeah. in our in our city. We're so glad you guys are here with us. Stay tuned for next week's service because it's going to be great. We'll see you next week.